Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, July 1st to the 2nd Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Virgoian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to grab a couple cards here, Virgo. Then I'm going to get a channeled message for you from Spirit before we begin. Also, please visit my community page. I posted um, something a link to a GoFundMe page. Diane from 303 High Priestess Tarot just recently lost her son. Um, and he couldn't have been, I, I don't know how old he is, but he looks to be younger than 13. So anyway, there's a GoFundMe page there to help with medical expenses and funeral expenses. So please visit that. And if you can't afford to give anything, just at least send your love and positive energy, positive vibes to the family. Okay. His name was DeMarcus. Okay. One more card here for Virgo. Okay. We have the Two of Swords, Virgo, the Queen of Cups, the Death card, and the Chariot card. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. King of Swords. Okay. Let's get this message from Spirit Virgo. See what's up. Set yourself apart from others, Virgo. You have to understand that you're unique and you don't need to follow the status quo. You don't need to follow the crowd. Don't be afraid to step up and into who you are. Thank you. Okay. King of Swords. Libra energy, usually for me. Could be Gemini Aquarius, but usually Libra for me as a reader. What's going on here, Gemini? You, what are you indecisive about? I feel like you have to decide something before you move forward. And within this decision, it's like you need to make this decision in order to balance out your energies. So I'm feeling a, an imbalance right now. But it's an imbalance. Interesting. Because I, I feel like Virgos, you're afraid of what other people think. This goes, wasn't yesterday's reading like this? Like coming out of the spiritual closet? I don't, I don't know if it's necessarily coming out of the spiritual closet right here, but it is really screaming at me that you care about what society thinks, what maybe your family thinks, what people think, and this is leaving you stuck. And it's like you want to move forward in a, in a particular direction. Now, whether that's career, love, it's all going to be different. You're clearly wanting to transform. You're clearly wanting to transform. And it's like transformation of your heart. How interesting is that, Virgo? Transforming your heart. Which to me, that's, that's spiritual because that's where our, our connection is in our heart. And I think you know that. You get some heavy spiritual shit happening right now, Virgo. All right, let's clarify. Tell me about the chariot card, please. Three of wands, distance again, something or somebody at a distance. It's like you're waiting for Okay, they just said waiting for answers to come, but you already have the answers. Two of swords, yeah, see? You're, you're like making yourself fucking crazy, Virgo. 
Stop it. This is a prison of your own making. Going round and round and round. Page of Cups. This page of cups, it's like, I feel like you want to apologize to the people around you. Like, I'm so sorry, but I have to make this decision. Why are you apologizing for being you? Why, Virgo? Stop it. Don't apologize for being who you are. And that doesn't matter what the fuck it is. I don't care if you want to have 15 wives, 15 husbands, right? It doesn't matter what it is. If you want to step into your authenticity and be you... You go be you and don't apologize for it because it's your life. You can do whatever the fuck you want. And you don't have to apologize for it. You're not hurting anybody. Wheel of Fortune is clarifying the Queen of Cups. And this is your destiny. This is fated for you. This transformation of your heart. Tell me about the death card. Yep. You're looking at patterns of behavior, and I think this is one of the behaviors that you're going to have to face. And I feel like that's something that you don't want to see. How you're so heavily relying on other people's opinions to act. When all you need is your own permission, not anybody else's. I want you, Virgo, to go and write yourself a permission slip. I don't know if anybody's ever watched Bashar, but he talks about permission slips, right? Um, it's just what we do because we're so third dimensional. Go get a piece of paper, write a permission slip. You have permission to be who you want to be, to be who you are. And it's okay. And you don't have to apologize for it. Seriously, write it down. Read it. Okay? Because this is something... A pattern of behavior that is certainly not serving you. Certainly not. All right. Advice for Virgo. Heal. Heal this part of you that you know needs to be healed. Heal the part of you. Heal your heart. Because your heart has a wish. You're meant to shine, Virgo. You're meant to shine. You could possibly be meant to be in the spotlight. This is the star card. More advice. Stop fighting it. Seven of Wands. Stop fighting yourself. Stop fighting what you know you, you should be doing. Stop fighting who you are, Virgo. Stop fighting the connection to spirit. Oops. Where's this? Six of Pentacles. Do you feel you have to give your energy to everybody else except to yourself? That's what I'm getting with the Six of Pentacles. Do you feel everybody else is more important than you? Virgo? Don't you feel that if you took care of your own needs and you really nourished yourself, you would be able to even give that much more? Okay, I'm not saying don't give, but you have to understand, once you fill yourself up, then you can actually give more of yourself because you'll have a better understanding of who you are you'll have even more energy to give. You won't be giving it out of, well, this is what I should be doing, out of obligation. You'll be giving it from your heart. And this is why this is a transformation of your heart that you cannot ignore. Healing, again, embracing this change, balance of the body, mind, and spirit, Sagittarius energy. All right, Virgo, I hope that helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. And please don't forget to go check out my community board post. 
and click on the link to the GoFundMe page for Diane 303 High Priestess Tarot, great tarot reader who lost her son Demarcus and needs to cover the cost of medical expenses and funeral expenses. So my heart goes out to them and all of you. So you guys have yourself a fantastic day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.